scientist Vinny Todd Buttafuoco, and I'm gonna go over all the legal supplements and herbs that you can buy that are claimed to be psychoactive. Valerian root can be used to treat insomnia? So can someone's ass and lies that come out of it. Stinging nettles in some clinical studies are effective against treating hypertrichosis. My god! How useful! Chamomile is useless for helping you sleep, which is what it's advertised for, but it does help with allergies to ragweed. Never heard of ragweed or anybody with allergies to it? Well then it's useless. Sam E. My friend swears by it. It's supposed to do a variety of things, include improved mood and mental functions. I find that in any form you take it, it doesn't do that. It's a man-made chemical, and you can usually trust that over hippie herbs. Too bad it's just man-made shit. Some herbs are claimed to improve memory, one of which is salvia. Lavender lafolia, also known as sage. But no reputable study has ever been done to prove this true. I mean, I could say hallucinogenic salvia divinorum 100x will improve your memory. It's not true. I just made it up, but now it's been documented that some jackass said it. So there better be studies conducted to see if it's true. Milk thistle is said to help the liver, but it's clinically proven to be bullshit. Since when do I trust a clinical study when I obviously haven't had a liver problem to test it with myself? Two reasons. In my unlimited understanding of body chemistry, I know that no substance can wipe clean scar tissue that envelops the liver. Number two. There's no reputable studies that prove that it does. Do I need a clinical study to prove that shoving grass in my eye socket doesn't prevent brain tumors? No, I don't. So is there any supplement you can buy in a health food store that does work? Yes, maca works. Clinical studies show that it raises the amount of sex hormone in guys, increasing the amount of semen that they produce. When given to mice, it increases their mating behavior, and mice aren't like able to bullshit you or anything, they're not just telling you, hey, it makes me fuck more. Mice don't lie. Even a powder capsule form, it works. I tested a long time ago without knowing what it did. It was just a random supplement that was around. Soon after taking it, I noticed, damn, I got a lot of thug in me. By thug, I'm referring to semen. And if you take maca, your wads are going to be like puddles. 5-HTP. Now you can't argue with a chemical in your head that's already been documented and connected to relaxation and a positive mood. But I can say by taking 5-hydroxytryptamine, it translates into it not being absorbed into the body and it being worthless. Yeah, write me eagles. Placebo taking bitches. Taking GABA supplements is the same story. It doesn't break the blood-brain barrier. It's pointless to take GABA supplements. You can take drugs like benzos and alcohol that stimulate GABA in your head, but you can't take the straight chemical GABA. GABA is supposed to boost your mood, make you relaxed, and help you sleep. I find that it works for all three of these things. If you make tea with the straight herb, you're unlikely to feel the effects, but if you take the extra strength extract and mix it with a beer, then even a mighty drug user will know that their effect you're going to feel is from GABA. Don't take GABA supplements, they don't work. Take Kava, they do work. Or take Benzos, or take Ambien, which I consider the best GABA drug. Read on the internet, but why it pretty much, without being a knockout drug, why it can put you to sleep very well. Everybody and their mental problems, but unfortunately, I like to look down on those people who have mental problems, but I have some hardcore insomnia, which I need to get past. Uh. Yeah, that stuff's good. Passion Flyer is mild MAOI. Very true, but very mild. And just like other MAOIs, it should drastically increase the effects of other drugs. But in a very minor way. People claim a variety of things about soy. Too bad the only thing true about it is that it gives you bitch titties and turns you into a faggot. 
green tea, it's healthy for your system. But there's a problem. It makes you a teetotaling homosexual to drink it. I find you can get past that by adding guarana to it. I even watch Cindy Lauper videos, but when I watch them, I'm ingesting guarana. So that pretty much makes me as badass as the Terminator if he was watching Cindy Lauper videos. And I think if you saw the Terminator watching Cindy Lauper videos, I don't think you'd call him a fag. I think you might get terminated for that. St. John's wort. At large doses, poisons goats, cows, and other farm dwellers who make the mistake of eating it. In Ireland, extracts require a prescription. So does it work? Well, yeah, it slows the reuptake of several chemicals related to happiness. I haven't tried extra strength extracts of the drug, but I've tried the straight herb and it's less noticeable than a cup of coffee. If you're like an old lady and you do no other drugs, then you'll notice it. But it's very mild, it's no miracle antidepressant, and for every action that it does, man has created a chemical which does it better. Now on to valerian root. Similar to catnip, the odor emulates cat urine. That might be the only use valerian root has because neither me or any of my test subjects noticed any effect from ingesting it in every way and every amount possible. Certain studies indicate that it works on the GABA receptor, leading people to call it nature's benzo. Other studies have shown that it doesn't. That's why if you check on, on Wikipedia under the mechanism and action, it will say thought to work with the GABA receptor, although studies are inconclusive. If it really worked with the GABA receptor, like alcohol, benzos, ambient, barbiturates, neurosteroids, methacrolone, or any other real drug, there would be no doubt, now would there? And I've tested on people who use no other GABA drugs, have no tolerance to GABA drugs, and would be able to detect any action of a GABA drug. No dice. I haven't even thought of testing it till now, but supposedly it emulates a cat pheromone, like catnip. See what the cat's reaction to it is. See, if that was like catnip, the cat would be going crazy. Fucking A. Valerian root doesn't work for fucking anything that it's supposed to. Even the cat hates the shit. Cat says, fuck that, don't put this fucking hippie herb on me. I'll get the fuck out, let me the fuck out of your room. Fucking smoke me some weed or something. Don't throw this fucking clay of Zekatachi shit on me. I ain't dealing with your hippie herbs. That's right, stay righteous, cat. Don't listen to the fucking Miss Health Food fucking misinformation fucking health food bullshit propaganda. You stand up, you fucking, fucking mammal. Be proud. You know what drugs work. You know where it's at. You want your catnip mixed with some fucking heroin, don't you? Yeah. Oh yeah, catnip will get you high if you mix it with heroin. I'll throw a quickie in about catnip. The active ingredient in catnip is necolaptone, which binds to the cat's olfactory receptors and minerates a pheromone. Don't be fooled because the chemical sounds like cavalactone. Catnip has no effect on humans, despite all the jackasses who say that it does on earwood. I don't, I, I don't, I don't even know what the fuck this is. How this goes on. Is it a dress or a skirt or... Alright. Dude, I can't fucking get this off. It's like, I'm stuck and it's so fucking hot. Come on, muscle. Fuck.